bullshit. Speaking of bummer, uh, Five Second Films is doing Bummer Week right now. Have yeah. you seen this? Yeah, uh -huh. they're trying dramatic Five Second Films. They're just doing, hey, we're gonna do dramatic Five That's Second hilarious. Films. That's <laughs> hilarious. But it, they're, week. they're not even, they're really bummers. They're not, yeah. and I give them more credit because they didn't do it hammy, they didn't do it whatever. I mean, it's like one of them is, a kid running into his room and he's hiding on the ground. Where's my fucking belt? I swear to God, where's my belt? And he's looking and the belt's under his bed. Oh. At the end. And it's like, oh. that, was like really, oh. that was really upsetting. Said, and wow. they wrote in the description, they were like, hey, we're not fucking around. This isn't like wow. intentionally Bummer funny. Week. We just wanted to see if we could do it. I like, I like those <laughs> videos. There's nothing, like, five second films is just, there's nothing except they have to be comedy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're like, hey, let's just make five But they completely the subverted film. the whole thing and it's really, because you watch it and you still laugh thinking, it was only five seconds, hot, but it's like, well, there really wasn't a no. gag there. Yeah. Uh, this, everyone thinks they're ending pretty soon? End of the year, they're stopping it? Yeah, they they're are going, going to stop because they're doing, uh, they're, well, they're they, all tied kick, in they with... kickstarted a movie or something. Oh, cool, yeah. good. Good for them. Some yeah. of the five second awesome. film guys are tied in with some of the bigger YouTube groups, right? Like the production uh, the, houses? The the main guy, Brian Ferenzi, yeah. like, was was like dorm mates with Freddie Wong. Yeah, so they were so recording digital. Stuff all the time. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. That rocket so. jump shit. I talked to the. I got to. I talked to him when we went to a Google thing once, and yeah. he was there. Yeah. And he was the only person there I was interested in talking to, and so I just. Dude, I was there. Cornered yeah. him the whole time. He didn't want to talk to you when you were there with him. Uh, no offense to these guys, but um, no. But anyway, I talked to him more than you did. We made fun of you. That's true. That's <laughs> you made fun of Rocco. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was, but wow. it's funny because I told him. I told him there. I'm like the only like the only. Fucking people I respect it all on YouTube are like you guys and Freddie Wong, and he's like, "That's so funny because we went to college and learned all this stuff together." And I'm like, <laughs> "That's so great. the only things I care about came out of one room." Yeah, like, yeah. That was it. Anyway, this is funny. We made fun of you. <laughs> yeah, I said you're dumb. But you are. I didn't realize that. Wow. <coughs> Hate to break it to you. I think I was dummy. Cool. I think I was cool that day. At least that day. But you know, that's up for debate. No debate here. Uh, is that the same Google event we left early? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was when we checked out. Was it so much fun that you were getting overwhelmed? What, there was, what happened? Uh, it became something No, no, no. no it, it was the they, workaholics. It was, yeah, it was, there was going to be like a comedy talk by the guys in workaholics, and everybody was like freaking out. Like they were really going to learn. It was for 30 people. Like they, they were really like going to learn some like, secret <laughs> shit on how to be funny. <laughs> and we were like, I don't shit. fucking care. Like, Anders Holmes going to so, fucking yeah, school you it, on, like, on fucking yeah. comedy? Well, it was them, but it was them and like the Fine Brothers. And it's like, oh, I don't. I'm good. So we ate the free pizza and then we and I talked to the dude for five second films. Okay. But, we didn't, but we didn't have to. The thing is, is like the thing that we went to was like a uh, th it was a talk on like here's new things coming to YouTube. No, there were multiple you events. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it yeah. so it was really that good. was just the final event. Yeah, yeah but yeah, the final event. I really like. There. I really like the guys from Workaholics, but at no point am I, do I think I'm going to sit down in a room and go, "Okay, now teach." Everyone's me. like, "They're going to be here leaving now." Yeah, I, yeah. It was literally like a talk on how to be funny. <laughs> what, 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 what <laughs> wasn't uh, was the little guy in those PlayStation commercials for a while? The little guy from Workaholics? I don't know. Oh, Adam. Sure. Yeah. It's, it's, it's all of them. It's, it's all three. Sim yeah. City. Okay, I knew it was some video game thing. Yeah, yeah. It, was it was them and the Fine Brothers. No offense to the Fine Brothers. No, no offense yeah. to anyone. Well, fuck we em. just had to drive Whoa. three hours home. Who? So. I don't know. I'm not familiar Rocco, with hey, the Fine film Brothers. Hey, film me. Rocco reacts to Fine Brothers. Okay, my turn. Derek reacts to Fine Brothers. It's true, I've seen that. Who are they? And yeah, do me. Okay. I don't know who this is. You don't know who they are either? No. You guys have seen figure. kids react to something? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a so. shit ton of those. They make yeah. them? They, did, they used to make a lot of different stuff, and then they found that, and that... Oh, yeah, that makes money. You guys, it. do you think that the secret to our success is that we're haters, and that's why everybody hearts us so yeah. much? Probably. I think so. Yeah, because they, they, they hearts everyone hearts haters. Hearts haters. Everyone knows that. And I, and I heart the haters. Yeah, everyone does. Yeah, that's true. The, the, the kids react and the teens react and the old the, people Italians react. react and whatever they do are all classic examples of when you, like, they'll make a thumbnail. What am I trying to say here? Is Ms. it that you're never, cute? You're never, no, you're never no, no. satisfied? You're never surprised by the, like, here's the thing. The thumbnail will have already what they project the reaction to be. So, they'll have a video called Kids React to Nyan Cat, or whatever that thing yeah. is. And the thumbnail is a little girl going, Yeah. Like that. Uh huh. And so people click it thinking, that's gonna drive her crazy. Yeah. 
none of the reactions <laughs> are, are that. Are, 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 are anyone going crazy? They watch it and go, huh, what's this all about? That's weird. So that thumbnail has no basis in reality of to what's it's actually a bait, it's a bait and in the video. Yeah. yeah, but when the video is over, if you ask anybody who's a fan of those videos, hey, so what's so good about, it's got a million hits. What's so good about this video? They'll say, uh, well, they, it, they just drive this girl crazy. And it's just the <laughs> image that's in their head. When they clicked it, it's completely... It's what they the, wanted to see. No one digests what is there. It's just a thing to click. Uh -huh. It's the thing that they wanted you know? to see when yeah. they clicked on it, but they didn't live up to and the And it's the same thing that when, when we interview people, meet the Spartans. It was all... Yeah. Everyone... Hey, what did you actually... You like the movie? Yeah. What did you like about it? It, 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 was, all, video. it was all marketing bullshit. Well, yeah. Yeah. None of it was seen. anything they digested or whatever. We saw that movie. I did, I did like when Baby <laughs> Shrek... Uh, when he barfed. All over the place. In the first minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Was good. <laughs> Baby Those, Shrek. Uh, people react videos are stupid. Hilarious videos. I want to recommend them. Check them out. Improv everywhere. <laughs> they might improv uh, next to you. What but if you're in New York? Follow if them on Twitter and then maybe you could go participate. Improv everywhere. They are so funny. If you are one of, the, if you've been living under a rock for the past year and you haven't been improved upon yet, you're missing out. Check wow. them out. I'm gonna do. I hate to rip off anybody's thing. I'm going to do a, a little segment from their Harry Met Sally skit. Okay. It's okay. really good. Oh, I Aaron, seen I just need you. I need Aaron to participate. Oh, Aaron, just get... uh, m like moan for one second. Oh, you want to moan? Yeah, yeah moan? just have a moan for a second. Just right there. Moan, uh, moan here into that. Uh, uh, hey, hey, I'll have what he's having. <laughs> <laughs> you do that I hope I didn't fuck that up. I no, hope I didn't you did that, that in a restaurant, like with yeah. people in it. I didn't think Aaron was actually gonna. Hey, that was the so, joke was so that he was gonna go. No, no, no. You got up to the plate. He did it. Good job. You got him a mess. We've had guests on before who would not have done that. Yeah, but no. you, Aaron, yeah. you said no. Joel, I'm on the podcast. I'm looking at you, Joel. Uh oh, I wasn't gonna call anyone out. Well, Anyways, yeah, I've never Rock heard him. Rog and I have been checking out a lot of improv everywhere videos lately. Yeah. I don't know. I think we've just been trying to make ourselves angry. Yeah, because it, it makes we, us we make better videos. You we get seriously fueled. just sit there and watch them and shout at the computer screen. Fueled by rage. <laughs> yeah, we're just like, what are these fuckers doing? That is so special. And we kind of just like lose our shit. And we've had discussions at length about it this week. We feel like Improv yeah. Everywhere specifically does everything that we don't do. When yeah. it comes to doing a video in public, like if we're doing a video in public, literally everything, yeah. And somebody recognizes the video we're doing, and they try to like participate and get in on the joke, we'll cut them out of the video. Yeah, because what's the humor in? Oh, it's this. Let me, oh, let me participate with you. Hey, I'm Bowser. It's like yeah. you're, not, you're not adding to the video. Yeah. We want people who are confused, because in our opinion, that's, that's funny. what's funny. Watching a bunch of people smile and oh, and take, this. Oh, this is great. I'm Take his cell phone photo. Yeah, this is all like... the reactions in Improv Everywhere videos. <laughs> Holy shit, you two. <laughs> they film people filming what Them. is boring. They, they do, they do, they literally do everything on our list that we always Edit don't out. do. Avoid, and it's, yeah. I mean, so it's that, it's what you said about that. You know, we watched a Matrix skit that they did, and they did what I always avoid in editing. It, it just me, I'm only speaking for myself here, but you have to let the movie be the movie before it gets weird. You know what I mean? So when the skit starts, you can't just have Neo be silly right away, or otherwise, is this the Matrix? Or you know, you know what I mean? And so what? in their video, you have Neo showing up, and he immediately goes into a department store. Hey, do you have a man dress? You know, like this one. <laughs> I mean, like what? And then at the end, you get a serious fight between him and other people. That is the reverse. I just don't. But I don't even understand that, because that. we've done videos where we go into a store or we yeah. go into public and we break out into a fight, and yeah. it's two guys in costume who are fighting. But these guys were doing slow motion and like doing their own sound effects, like, and everybody there is uh huh, and there's no like. Confusion there's or no, question there's about no threat what's going to, on. There's no threat to their safety bubble. Yeah. And, and it's or, just like, know, like, why are you laughing? You I, know, I think I think a really good example of that is what you guys did in the Uncharted video. Uh, like, Rocco's going through, and he's supposed to be drugged, and he's moving slow through like the crowd, and it's weird. We put a weird filter on it, and the music from the game is built all on top of it. But until halfway through the video, you don't see that it's just a guy 
being <laughs> weird in a public setting. Wait, so when you hard yeah. cut to Rocco in a faraway camera, just going, wow, all by himself. <laughs> yeah. no filter you have to give him something noise. to compare it to. Well, yeah, yeah. And also, yeah. like, here's the thing. I think in humor, in all humor, but especially in, like, public, raw candid camera public reaction humor there needs to be a gap in understanding and there needs to be something happening and there needs to be people who don't completely understand what's happening and you watch them try to sort it out mentally in their head and that's what's yeah. fucking funny yeah. so to see people who automatically know everything that's going on and they're yeah. smiling and recording yeah that's so hilarious that those people got it like we're just so warmed up yeah. by that. And, and <laughs> we're so warmed oh, up. And let me gosh. just say, and let me just say, and on top of that, to, uh, they do a Harry Met Sally skit where they recreate the movie. The orgasm. In public. Yeah. With, yeah. Does the fake orgasm in a restaurant? Well, is it fake? They go to the same restaurant they shot the movie at. Oh. It is a landmark thing. Oh. There are signs everywhere saying they filmed it here so and they do it right there. So it. everyone is already going, oh, they're doing this. If that is like there, that'd be so fucking annoying. Yeah, that is like going and doing a skit with scary costumes on fucking Halloween. <laughs> where you're out in public, boo! People are gonna go, ha ah, how cute. That is so limp <laughs> dick useless. Hey, do that in a like, library, now we're talking. <laughs> exactly, hey, but exactly. <laughs> limp, limp dick useless. That, but that is fucking but Sean, impotent. Sean has it. it, that's it. It's just completely. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I heard their next, uh, the improv era next video is gonna be them running up the Rocky Steps as Rocky. Oh, oh that's good. Wow, running up the, you know, they're probably, <laughs> they've probably already oh, filmed it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, mark my word out there, everybody, they will put that video up yeah. dressed as Rocky running up the Rocky Steps. Adrian. They're gonna say that, and everyone. You know what's funny is the the Rocky skit, the funniest skit you could possibly do with Rocky has already been done. And so many people haven't seen it. If you get the Blu-ray of the last Rocky that came out, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Salone just goes to the steps and hangs out there and all day it's people filming, yeah, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and Getting embarrassed. And it's like, I haven't seen that like on YouTube or whatever. It is so funny. No, it'd anyway. be funnier if there was a sign that says, this is where Salone did the Rocky steps. Yeah. Yeah. So they fucked up. Fuck you. Oh, well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, so, you know, we'll see. Anyway, um, but yeah. So there, there, we did get, you know, I talked about that a little bit on our, on our Twitter, and I did get some responses, though. To be fair, show the other side here. I, I did get a lot of responses that are like, hey, I like them and you guys. Because, and they said that Improv Everywhere doesn't set out, their, their mission statement is to not get shocked reactions or confusion or whatever it is to make the people watching feel good. And that's fine if that's your goal. Me personally, I don't understand then putting up videos of it. That Then do it for the, the, I just don't get the entertainment in that. If every, if it's people feeling good, I'll film my Thanksgiving dinner and upload that at that point. I guess we did. <laughs> do you know what I mean, though? Improv everywhere. Yeah, We're I mean, improv and everywhere. Do you know what I mean, though? It's like I might as well Thursday film us all having dinner and I, and me hugging my uncle and aunt, and I upload. Yeah, like, like if they're like mission, at that point, if, what's the entertainment? If their mission is to be cute, they succeeded. Cool. I, I don't know. I, w I also wouldn't upload a, a, a video of my cat being cute or something too. But people do that, so I don't. Oh, I you know, definitely I don't know. do. I'm that. just such an go. inherently pessimistic person. <laughs> I can't stand. That shit. I'm just approaching it. I'm approaching I'm it from a I from a comedy way. sketch video yeah. maker. That's how I'm approaching it. So maybe that's the wrong view on it, but that's my view on it, and I'm sticking to it. No spin, no bells. And I bet whistles. my mom would like it. Yeah, yeah, but it's, that's it's, why they it, do it, so it, well. Your moms. That's why they do so well. It's, it's the matrix. It's the matrix skit for your mom. I could probably finally explain what we do to my parents by just saying, you know, improv everywhere. It's like that. That would really hurt me if you did that. <laughs> <laughs> you can just don't tell me about it. Um, somebody, <laughs> but but Evan Buckles I would never in do the that. chat. Evan, Evan Buckles in the chat summed up. He said it's public skits for moms. It that's is. a great. That's a yeah. great summary of it. Now, well, there's it's a, people who work in offices. Things that they can show on the Today Show. Yeah, yeah exactly. Is, like, improv everywhere, I feel like you guys suck. You're not edgy enough. I saw another <laughs> skit. <laughs> I, I saw another skit, and I felt like an old man because I thought, you guys, public skit, too edgy. Fuck you guys. Too edgy? You're too edgy. Is it, it Surveillance Man? No, somebody... I love Gosh. I can't... It's, there's a YouTube channel. Much. There's a YouTube channel. 
I'm probably going to say it wrong, and I don't know if I should promote them anyways. I think it's Mike Diva is his name. And he did a Christmas caroling video, just kind of like aggressive caroling. But they just sing regular Christmas carols very loud. But they go to people's homes at like 1.30, 2.30, 3.30, 4.30 oh, I think I've seen in the this. morning. Yeah. And they're like waking people up. And I felt like... <laughs> How weird cool. would that be? Yeah, that's the that, that's that's I feel like it's the war. I'm and, scared. And especially yeah. at one point, they like they stick the camera in the window oh. and they film people in their living oh, room I would, being no, woken up no, on their so sofa. Fucked up. Like you see people sleeping on the sofa and they're just like. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked. And they look uh, out their window, and there's like a group cameras. of 15 people just like, hey, oh, look at Christmas uh, yeah, spirit singing right, and right. filming them, and people in disguise like, you need to go. You need to get off my property. And they just won't leave. That's and I'm just like, that. maybe I'm old, but I don't think that's No, cool. there's people I, that I take it too far. I don't like stuff with people's homes. That was, that was all it was, was filming people sleeping in their homes. I was that's like, fucked up. That, you're really fucking creepy. And hey, that, we go, I mean, we're outside in the mall like that like you know people went out to find like, they're not in their private sanctuary well, the he's thing. the guy he's the guy who did sexy sax man i believe yes he is oh okay. see that that video is amazing that video is amazing that video is great but i feel like there were probably laws broken filming people sleeping in their homes or yeah. maybe it was faked or maybe they got those people's oh. permission yeah maybe like it was like oh here my uncle my uncle was, was yeah and they, they did to like someone they know or yeah. something like that that's fine but if yeah. you just went to strangers, that's fucked up. But the cool thing about, I guess when you would see that, it'd be like in a CKY video, it's like, hey, this is my uncle Don, we're gonna go fuck with him, and then they go do I, it. I will say, because, you know, some there's some, just some people who ha don't have a moral barometer like that, whatever. Yeah. I will Psychopath. say that when we started out, and it didn't last very long, but I had a skit idea when we first started. I don't uh -huh. even know if we had talked to you about Mega64 yet, Sean. Mm -hmm. I just brought it up to Derek, and I had an idea, and I still think it's funny, but I would never do it. But for a brief moment, I thought I would, and then it's like, the second I turn, you know, 19, I didn't want to do it. Um, I always thought it was funny in RPGs that you would just walk into their houses. Yeah, so yeah. I thought it'd be really funny to dress in really medieval clothes and just walk uh, right uh, into uh, someone's home. What? Like, what are you doing here? Start going, open How? drawers. No, no, yeah. I, and may, maybe doing that, but yeah. even just walking in, Somebody, people would be like, what the fuck? You, I, 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 I would have been shocked. I guarantee you, I would be shocked. Somebody is watching this and they're gonna take that idea, you're gonna you, see that video. You would be shocked. They're gonna get killed. shot. They could kill you for that. But that's what I'm saying. It's like, I would, that's morally wrong to do that. I would kill. No, I'm, I'm saying you that. could literally be killed yeah. and they wouldn't be in trouble for no. killing you. No, exactly. Yeah. Don't do that. So, <coughs> I'm Unless, for less. again, it's like, hey, my uncle Tom, you don't know him, but you should do that. Like, I'll be, I'll talk yeah. to him afterwards. That's funny. Now, that's funny. Yeah. But if it's. Uh, Rari, right, Rari says Derek would be shot. <laughs> What's that mean? Morocco is white. What do you oh, think that means? That's I, don't, I guess um, I'm an easy target. King Nignog says Uncle Tom, huh? I'm How? not even gonna touch we, that. Uh, you did. What? You did we, touch it. We, that guy's name before we've talked about that guy's name. He's gotta <coughs> change that. That is not right to say. Yeah, that's a racist thing. I think ban him. Uh, no, I don't ban him. I don't care. I think his name is great. Okay. Derek goes on record saying, great name. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and write that on the screen. I mean, he is a king. <laughs> yeah. Is better than being at the other end of the spectrum. What, whatever that title might be. Queen? What, what, what that Surf? Be? Queen Nick Nog? Why? Well, if if <laughs> king, king is in charge of everybody, the other end of the spectrum, everybody's in charge of you. I don't know if there's a name for that. But it's better not to be that thing. <laughs> As you dangle chains. You have had this chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> the chains sell the point. I'm yeah. Bob Marley's ghost. I already explained that. He did already explain Damn. that. That's true. Buffalo soldier. Um. 